It's mail day here on Tragic MTG, or at least it was back in 2018 when I received a lot of mail from some speculation that I did when I got back into this. This is before I started the channel. Um, got caught up in that good old Rudy hype and started buying up cards left and right that I thought might go up in value. Um, uh, so excited about it that it's actually been sitting unopened in a box for uh, two and a half years now. Um, some of these cards have started to spike and I actually put them on eBay and <laughs> starting to sell them. Well, now I need to dig through here and find the cards that I need to ship out. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, I'm looking for Psychic Vortexes, which I believe uh, I was buying for about 75 cents uh, at that time. And they are now selling on eBay for about $18. So that's a pretty good return on an investment. But I need to get them and pull them out of here. So let's see what I got. I have some idea of what's in here. Uh, I know Psychic Vortexes, and we're going to see what else, because I have no idea what's in each of these individual envelopes. can't even get them open. Let's take a look and see if it'll tell me how much I paid for this. So, okay, Soldevi Excavations is one that we're going to see a lot of, because I really like this card. I was specking on these uh, at about $3. And uh, let's see if we can figure out what they are at nowadays. Let's turn on the scanner and see if it'll scan through this. So the heavy excavation is 1173. So that's a good spec right there. I'm hopeful that that one will keep going up. And uh, the reserve list card. So I have to kind of choose a target number. Maybe it'll hit about 20 bucks and I'll start selling those out. Let's see what else we got here. Wow, nice like uh, package that was put into this. Um, we have got, oh, this is another one, City of Shadows. So I know I bought a bunch of these at about $9. We are going to scan that up and see if I've done well. Spoiler alert, yes I have. Let me try not to actually cut these cards. They actually, they taped the top of this and Typically, you don't want tape to contact your cards. Yeah, I'm going to carefully cut that tape past the cards, pull them out, see what we got. CD of Shadows from the Dark, lightly played or so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe I paid about $9 for these, if I remember correctly. Currently sitting at $57.84, so that was a pretty good. Uh, investment, I do believe, of course, uh, couldn't sell it for quite that much. Maybe they're a little high right now. Who knows? Do they have any room to grow? Not sure. I've always liked this card. Um, thought it had kind of a unique ability. I'm sure that it's kind of hard to actually use, but it is a reserve list card that has a unique mechanic and it's kind of unlike anything else out there. So you can bet I was going to grab it. All right. So what is in the next envelope? Okay. Get in there. What is it? Rafalos Lanawar Emissary. So I'm not sure what I would have paid for this. Um, I'm going to guess it was probably a 10 to $12. Because I know that it was up and down around 20 at one point, And I know I had... Not paid that much for it, so I'm very in uh, mint condition. Rafalis from Urza's Destiny. Yep, 37, so I think I did okay on that one as well. There we go. If, um, if I'm pretty sure even back then the, the foil would have been very expensive, and so I probably was not going after that either. Next pass package. Still looking for a psychic vortex in here because I gotta sell one. Or I have one sold anyway. So thank you for my purchase. Okay. There's a few, or at least they're kind of smooshed together. All taped up. 
well, here you can see Scorched Ruins. I don't know, is there one in there? It's like they use top loaders to kind of pack it, which is actually good. I kind of need top loaders. Yep, just one Scorched Ruins. Let's see. 33. I'm pretty sure I was into this for about 15. So a little bit of a doubling action there. Uh, that's one that I had targeted along with the other Weatherlight uh, land. So Lotus Vale. And I don't know if I really went in on that Griffin Canyon or the other one. Not sure. Uh, oh, there's a land that I went in on. So I know I was buying these between 30 and $40. dollars Larian Academy is one that um, people just at the time thought would never go up in value because you can't use it. It's so restricted because it's utterly broken. I like it. I mean, <laughs> it's it's so broken that it's like, I don't think it's going to go back down really. But Larian Academy, it doesn't like the glare. I'll have to take it out to scan it. Bear with me. Urza Saga, Tolarian Academy, still has glare. Can't see it. Alright, come on, fine. It's got perfect fit and a sleeve and a top loader. It cannot even be seen by the scanner. I really want it to scan. Fine, I'll take it out of the perfect fit also. Can we finally get this scanned? There we go, 102.95. Finally, uh, another one that uh, I think I did okay on. Um, I don't know if it'll trend up more. I can't see it going down by a whole lot at this point. But uh, I have it, and I know I had bought uh, quite a few of these at about thirty to forty dollars. Uh, again, I think it's paying off. What else? did I get here? Get cash fast from Strike Zone Online. Another Raffalo, so I don't have to scan that all up again. We've seen what that is. Meditate. So there's one, uh, is one that did not take off. I know I was buying these for about $5 or so, and I think that's currently what this is. It, it seems totally broken. Uh, I'm sure it is kind of restricted in the older formats. I think I don't think it really sees a lot of play. It did spike at one point and then it came right back down. Meditate might be one that will take off um, at some point, but I, I believe right now it's sitting about five dollars. So I'm not going to worry about scanning it. Next up here, just kind of loose in this. Bubble Mailer is a Tolarian Academy, and again, would have been about $30 to $40 what I paid for that. And that was from, not an official seller, that was a, uh, a eBay user. All right, I got more envelopes that need to get gone through because I still need a Psychic Vortex out of here. So this one's Power9.com. believe, is that Dan Bach? I'm sure everyone down below has a comment about Dan Bach. I don't have anything good or bad to say about him other than he sent me some cards here. And I think these might be the ones I'm looking for. Oh, they're all like put together like that. Hold on one second. Oh, I can check the receipt here. Psychic Vortex, 85 cents a piece is what these are. So let's get these out. It's like the tape level on this package is up there. Come on. I got a skinny. There we go. Psychic Vortex from Weatherlight. 85 cents each. Currently sitting 1847, and I have sold this particular one already on eBay and I've got a few more that need to go on so that is it that was the what I was after today just so I could get these so I could get them sold out um, I may go through a few more of these envelopes if you're interested so stick with me here yep so apparently I bought eight 
psychic vortexes with this little batch here. There we go. We'll throw on eight. And I think there's there's probably more in there. So, and some more top loaders. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's open another one. In fact, I think this might be more of the same. Uh, Phyrexian Portal, 69 cents. So, uh, let's get in there and scan a Phyrexian Portal. This is, this is one that I don't think has gone up much. I think it's worth more than 69 cents, though. There we go. Phyrexian Portal from Alliances, and there's, I think, eight of these as well. $1.55, so it's got a little bit, it's got a little ways to go. Uh, I'm not going to take that all apart. I'm just going to leave that there for now. This one is from Troll and Toad. Well, let's see. We always hear that Troll and Toad, um, their, their grading is not fully on the level. Here's a Sildevi Excavations. Um, looks like maybe just one. Looks like a near mint. I don't see a problem with that, so we'll just throw that on the stack. This one from an individual name. Let's see if I can get it open. There's a bunch of tape on here. Wow. Need a letter opener instead of a knife. Come on. There we go. Opened up. Sort of. That one is. Oh, more Phyrexian or fight Psychic Vortex. That's what this is, right? Like I told you, I expect into this one quite a bit at this level. And uh, thanks to Obeka being printed uh, in Commander Legends, this card has now taken off properly. The way I always hoped it would let's see oh apparently in there are some null chambers as well so i paid 51 cents for this three psychic vortexes and there are two mirage null chambers in there uh okay let me let me pop these open and we'll scan the null chamber i can't throw a knife on that tape you know what forget the tape null chamber i think has not gone up at all so This next little envelope wrapped up in an invoice. There we go. Scorched Ruins. And let's see if I can see what I paid for this. Scorched Ruins, 1626. Uh, let's see, did we already scan one of those? Yeah, there we go. But bing, I think we scanned one. It was like 33. So there we go. Oops. Lost the scanner. Next up. I know. I know. Clearly I'm slow. It took me two and a half years to even get around to doing this. But it was almost like a time capsule. Like I, I meant to get these and kind of sit on them until they spiked. That was the idea. <clears throat> and these were cards that I did research on and I thought, you know, maybe someday they'll print something that breaks these or they'll get more popular. I really wasn't going after bigger cards like I should have been. Um, but these are ones that I thought might take off of it. So Anvil of the Garden, there's no invoice. I feel like I was paying eight to ten dollars for something like this at the time um, <clears throat> and I think I've done okay on this one as well if I could just open this up Gosh. sometimes you don't need so much tape you know what I mean just saying So Anvil of a Garden and uh, more Soldevi Excavations in there as well. Let's see, what else is in here? 
These could have come from TCG Player, they could have come from eBay. Hey, Shallow Grave, another one that I was specking on. It was probably about nine bucks at the time. So two Slobevy excavations, a Shallow Grave, and an Anvil of a Garden. The anvil is 27, so hey, that's that's some gains right there. The Shallow Grave. 18 so that one's doubled in price since then I'm hoping Soldevi excavations will go up at some point because as you can see I have quite a few of those as well let's see here let's shake the whole table here what is in this This is the same seller. It's like the same blank piece of paper and the same packaging style. And it's like you can't even get to it. All right. Thawing Glaciers from Alliances. So you'll notice that all of these are reserve list cards. And they're just kind of, they were low. Oh, well, they were low tier, but they were also somewhat okay. I remember, I think I paid about 30 some bucks for that Lake of the Dead. And then it, uh, I know it has, it spiked higher at that, at one point, and then it came back down. And I think it might be back up again. Thawing Glaciers, Mana Web, and Lake of the Dead. Yep, this is the kind of stuff I am into. Very nice. Almost near mint, I would say. 69.97 that's what I'm going for here. Mana web is one that I do I've gotten specced on several of these probably in the $10 range and they've just recently come up to 34. So pretty productive mail day here at Tragic MTG. Thawing glaciers sitting at 24. I know I wouldn't have paid more than like 8 or 9 bucks at that for that maybe 12. Wherever it was at in like May of 2018. Here's one from Basin Gaming in Klamath, Oregon. Klamath Falls. What did I get from them? This is... Oh, the Scorched Ruins. One Scorched Ruins for $13.83. There it is. Uh, I'm going to put it here. There's a bunch of tape on that. I'm going to take that tape off. Last thing I want is tape on my other cards. TCG Junkie sent me this envelope here. What did I get from TCG Junkie? For $4.49, so Debbie Excavations. You see a trend here? Package by it that said Sabrina, but I just ripped it. So, so Debbie Excavations, if you guys need any, I got quite a few. What else? What else should I be done here? The Cooper's Caves Games and Paintball is where this came from. So, Debbie Excavations. Yep, yep, I told you. What did I tell you? I bought a bunch of those. This one is from Straight From The Pack. And they taped their envelope a lot. Come on. Just ripped the end of it, right? I'm gonna save the envelope. A good YouTuber would have like pre-opened all of these but that's not me all right what did I get here so Debbie excavations yep 447 I paid for that one so I was on a tear with this card apparently uh, I like it because it can tap for two mana you know, the downside is you have to sacrifice an untapped island when it comes into play. But to me, it seems like it's a, a net, but I know that at like higher level of play, 
that's a super big no-no. And then, uh, but you can scry with it. Um, now I don't know if the errata says that you can actually, if it's actually technically scry. I believe it is. So anything that affects scrying, I feel like this is a good card for, you know, the strategy. So, again, I think someday some card will come along and totally break that. And, uh, and then I'll be in the money, right? <clears throat> what do you think down below? This one is another Telerian Academy. I'm glad I bought a, several of these. Let's see. $41.95 total with the shipping on that. So, oops. Get in there. Near mint. Perfect. Great. I'm going to go through all of these so you can stick around and watch if you want. It's just a job that needs to be done at this point. We just got to open all these up and do something with them. Uh, let's see here. Oh, more Soldevi excavations. So $3.99 a piece. There was like two of them in there. So we'll just stack those, move on. to just open these envelopes. Scorched Ruins again, $15.99. Good investment. I got more. I'm just gonna finish this job out here. Another, this whole stack is what I had left. I really went on a tear buying up speculating cards. TJ's Media is the seller on this one. Let's see here. Here's a new one. Sarcomancy. Tempest. $2.48. Let's see how I did on that one. I don't know if this one has gone up at all. When Sarcomancy comes into play, put a zombie token into play. Treat it as a T2 black creature. You're drinking upkeep. If there are no zombies in play, it deals one damage to you. So it's just, I guess you could blink this. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I got it. And. 297 it's about the same so no big deal some of them don't pan out right hopefully I didn't get too many of those oh man just okay what else is in here get the invoice out scorch ruins 1599 I'll be sure to leave him some feedback. It's kind of out of date. Scorch Ruins on the stack. Well, the lands don't go to the stack, do they? Come on. What are you talking about, Tragic? Uh, Zenergy Games and Hobbies. Ah, I dropped it. What did I get here? Four Psychic Vortexes for 55 cents each. Better than the stock market. There we go. TCG player. Direct, I guess. Uh, Psychic Vortex, seven of them for under a dollar a piece. There it is. Nice little stack. Yeah, I knew I had a bunch of these. TCG player. Oh, this is interesting. So, that's not a reserve list car. card. Why did I buy that? Let's see, Iker Claw Mirror. I just bought, I just got one of those. That's bizarre. Oh, why would I want this? 
Maybe it just, I threw it on in order and it just kind of got shipped separately. There was a time when I was messing around with Infect. I don't know why I would have thought that I needed this. Honestly, probably already had a bunch of them. That's weird. Well, that's not going up in value. That's only going down in value. Alright, uh, let's see here. Someone's got an invoice. It's kind of nice to see what I paid for some of this stuff. This is one more Scorched Ruins for $12.99. <laughs> it's not a Jace the Mind Sculptor, probably. And a weird little package they made. I don't want to cut into the card. Careful. Scorch runes. That one? Yeah, I guess it's one. Okay. There it is. Dan Bach. This one's from Dan Bach, it says. Which, uh, I thought he was Power 9, but this is, like, directly from him. Yeah, okay. That's the Power 9 logo. Um, I know I bought a bunch of the Psychic Vortexes from him. So this could be more. Could be some other stuff. I don't know. Destroying this here. What does the invoice say? It says, Meditate. I bought eight Meditates from him for mm, total of 43 bucks. That was about five something a piece, like I said, yeah. So, yeah, again, that one I don't think has gone up much in price. Sharper knife. Ooh, here we go. This one's pretty good. Um, no invoice. Lake of the Dead and two Helm of Obedience. So I know the Lake of the Deads. I was buying these in about. Gosh, I want. I want somewhere between twenty and thirty bucks probably. And the Helm of Obedience. I'm pretty sure that these would have been in the ten to fifteen dollar range. So. Let's see what they are now. Oh, there's two and four. Four Helm of Obedience. Great. $40 each. Uh, so those have probably at least doubled or maybe even quadrupled in price since I bought them. Super happy about that. And of course I do have my work cut out for me to get all this stuff sold at some point. go. So Debbie Excavations, looks like one or two maybe. Kind of thank you letter but no invoice for whatever those are. And the tape. Always with the tape. What am I going to get? What am I going to get? Regeneration from Ice Age. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like they used some filler for my Sildevi excavations. And that's... Yeah, these are all pretty much just nothing. I, don't, I would not have ordered those, so... One time so bit Debbie excavations and some chaff. That's Alms is not a good card, right? Just a common, yeah. Why not? Alright. Almost done here. This took a long time, honestly. TCG player. So Debbie excavations. 
Okay, 99, nope, 374 for that one, yep. Griffin's Roost Gaming. What did I get? What did I get? Another Meditate for $5.99. So that one's about the same now. And one more from Power9.com. This one, hold on, hold on. Interesting method, whatever those are. The invoice says Psychic Vortex, 85 cents times eight of them. So there we go. I've got plenty of Psychic Vortexes to sell. Got some Solarian Academy, some Lakes of the Dead, some pretty good stuff. Um, it's, it's fruit that's ripening on the vine right now. So I'll continue to hang on to some of this stuff um, until it goes up a little bit more and then maybe I'll sell out. Anyway, if you made it through to all of this, um, cool. Thanks for hanging around. Make sure to toss me a like, and I'll catch you on the next one.